Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. This video will be about uh, Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon and uh, Gemini Rising. Weekly tarot reading for uh, April 22nd to April 28th, uh, 2019. And uh, as soon as I finish with uh, the shuffling here of the cards, guys, we're gonna jump straight into the uh, reading itself. All right, so Let's see what we got. So the first card for Gemini, which is marking the topic of their week, that is going to be the Eight of Swords, followed by the second card, which is the general challenge that Gemini needs to face throughout the week. That is going to be the Five of Pentacles. The third card that we do have is the positive aspect of the week. We do have the Queen of Swords. And the last one that we do have, it is going to be the guidance the Tarot is offering to Geminis for throughout the week. That is going to be the Nine of Swords. So once again, Eight of Swords It is the first one, followed by the uh, Five of Pentacles. Then it is the Queen of Swords. And then the last one that we do have, that is going to be the uh, Nine of Swords. So uh, just from the general out uh, outlook here, Geminis, it looks like that this uh, week itself, you're gonna bang your head against the wall here, trying to figure out how to escape or rather like yeah how to escape a uh, a certain situation that you are finding yourself stuck at uh not without your personal contribution however so it's kind of like a um, a complicated endeavor or an enterprise that you're going to find yourself in here with the eight of swords which is the topic and does represents exactly that that one is facing somewhat a dead-end situation but not without the contribution of oneself therefore dine made um, certain actions or took certain decisions back in the past and the result of those decisions or actions are basically that the, the stagnation of the situation itself now however with the eight of swords there is always a, a glimpse of hope and that glimpse of hope how to escape the situation itself resides however outside of the current box meaning that you need to resort to a, a foreign foreign or alien approach and resources as well or it could be also a, a sign that you need help Okay, so you can't, the, the situation went beyond your personal capabilities and you need to find a help through which you can, um, you can overcome the situation itself. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune here formation, it is a active, uh, active friends and with the Wheel of Fortune, it is obvious, you know, as this card represents a huge portion of a chance as well, once in a lifetime opportunity, stirring off one situation. So this combination is what we do have here, Geminis, is that you will have the chance, you know, to stir a, a situation in your life, either marriage or career, you know, it's just a general reading, which you are facing your health against or you're banging your head against the wall in regards to that situation currently and you will continue to do so for the big portion of the week itself you know but somewhere along the week that 
window of opportunity is going to present itself to you which you will have to catch with both of your hands all right and take full full advantage of it usually the manifestation of the will of fortune which will allow you to escape that situation let's say escaping abusive marriage you know escaping a stalker or escaping really uh, unfavorable situation at career uh, this opportunity to do so it, it will manifest itself through some sort of a chaotic circumstances and you have to be quite mentally aware you know that you can actually ride the tide here and kind of like truly take uh, take advantage of the circumstances themselves so the challenges uh, which uh, you will have to face additionally to that are the five of pentacles so the five of pentacles it is a card of insecurity and as well everybody knows that the five of pentacles is the worst when it comes to financial success I cannot say that you are going to face poverty or anything like that. It could be challenging. It could be some unexpected expenses that you will have to do. And as well, from a standpoint of insecurity, you may start feeling that your place at career, it's a bit wobbling, you know, or uh, your, let's say, marriage or relationship is, is deteriorating a bit. Now, with the Five of Pentacles, things are not beyond any repair, not by a long shot. Uh, this card points that... Um, the problems themselves are not going to be that big, all right? But the problem is that there are going to be multiple problems, all right? So you're going to kind of like face difficulties at multiple, at all fronts even. And that's why, like I said at the start, mental alertness here, acute mental alertness is going to be a virtue for your behalf. In another, in another words, despite of how difficult, you know, your situation may become throughout the week, you should not give up. Additionally to that, as you can see, we do have two people people here running in the cold winter meaning that you do have a, a supporter in the sense of the person who is experiencing the same kind of a situation or does have an experience in the same kind of a situation which can help you face those cold days those rainy days if i may express it that way additionally to this card we do have the ten of pentacles so the formation is passive supporters and I think it's about money. I mean, it's going to be a challenging um, thing to, to maintain the current. It's not like financial state, you know, but let's say to avoid some unexpected um, expenses that are going to come around. And with these cards, you have to be very careful investing into gadgets that you are to purchase, you know, for example, or uh, in general, major, uh, major, major spendings. Let's say that you do have that you do want to purchase a home. All right, with these cards, it will be advisable to make your research a little bit better because the price itself is going to be challenging, meaning it's going to be a bit higher than what you can afford or you can bargain for a, a better price. Additionally to that, you may experience as well uh, with these cards being challenging to give, uh, to give up trust into people or to trust somebody, <laughs> okay, with, uh, with those couple of cards. And if that's the case, then the cards are calling you for bigger personal independence. If you can't trust somebo somebo uh, someone, you know, do not force yourself to do so. Uh, from there, we are going to the next card, Gemini's, which is the positive aspect of the week. And we do have the support or the helping hand that you do require here with the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords is very ass assertive and emancipating person, most likely a woman who, drew, who has a vast experience into the issues that you are trying to tackle throughout this week or this day. Um, seemingly dead-end situation that you are finding yourself at. Now, with the cooperation of this, well, I will say woman because it's queen, but it could be as well a man, all right? You will be capable to push your things through, like bringing down that barrier which is holding you back. And as I said, the window of opportunity is going to be rather small. So the window of opportunity to associate and to cooperate with this person is going to be rather, sw uh, rather small. Therefore, you should be um, 
kind of aware of that person's presence. Additionally to that, the Queen of Swords, uh, it's a very positive when it comes to help, uh, to, to health, excuse me. I don't like to speak for health, but it is very positive about health. It does po point to health problems being resolved or at least being given a, an accurate treatment. The accompanied card here or the uh, catalyst is the Eight of Pentacles and formation is active enemies. It seems that as soon as you associate yourself with, uh, with this person, then uh, things are going to escalate rather very quickly. The progress, the progress is going to made very, very quickly. And uh, with these cards, it does seems that this, uh, this woman is going to take the majority of performance. You don't have to do anything, uh, anything major in reality, but just allow her to do her magic and to resolve your problems and your issues. Now, the guidance that we do have for you guys, that is going to be the Nine of Swords. And the Nine of Swords is, associate, is associated with a uh, couple of things. First, responsibilities. So one needs to realize the, um, the influence or rather the impact of, uh, of their actions. And one has to overcome certain fears on their behalf. Here, I do believe that it is about, uh, it is about the fears. That you are facing maybe you are afraid to make any move regarding for example your abusive marriage or you're afraid to to make any moves in regards to uh, that really difficult project or to change jobs and so on and so forth so uh, when it comes to guidance the ten of uh, the, the nine of swords does asks you to realize the consequences of your actions but as well to uh, recognize that doing no action also bear or being a uh, being inactive also bear a certain consequences or it brings a certain consequences and with the seven of swords the formation is is a active supporters here you have to overcome the uh, the fear and to realize that if you are after something the the whole advance or rather like the development of that situation bears on your shoulders and only you can stir your things th things through in this case by associating yourself with the queen of swords you know or to allowing that person to help you here and uh, as well these cards are uh, are pointing as a guidance that you will have to overcome the fear of what your personal goal is going to inflict to others right so we we could talk about a, a replacement here where you are replacing one person especially if we're talking about career here gemini you may find yourself replacing one person for a spot that they really wanted they will feel disappointed about it you know they're not gonna like it but at, at the end of the day it is yours to take so um yeah whatever you need you should be prone to take it for throughout uh, for throughout this week. It is just try to be more open-minded, Gemini's, uh, because the resolution of your problems, of your problematic relationship, of your problematic marriage, for example, problematic career, or whatever is problematic into your uh, into your environment resides outside of your current comprehension if i may express it that way you know it kind of like it's it's alien to you and it comes with this person queen of swords so that being said this was uh, the weekly tarot reading for you gemini's i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and we're going to see each other around until then bye